still, still got, got the gear. <laughs> Just uh, this week between games, for you particularly with your knee and all that, how beneficial is this for you? Well, that was nice. Uh, we had the team had uh, Sunday and Tuesday off, and they gave me a little bit lighter day on on Monday. So basically, three days to kind of recover, and um, that was very good for the knee. Um, still kind of a day to day thing, but it was definitely good to to get some rest. And I think everybody kind of felt the same way. I know that. There were some other guys struggling with some some minor things, so I think it was very good to get a couple of days of rest. But uh, had some good days of practice, and uh, just gotta come out swinging tomorrow because it's an early game, so we gotta have a fast start. Um, Fred has talked about how you know the the load management with your knee, but you want to be out there. How hard is that for you to kind of understand and yeah. see the whole picture as much as you want to you know be be out there going every day that you have to back at times that a difficult thing to grapple with um yeah i mean yeah you i, I love this game i want to play it as much as possible so um having to kind of sit out sometimes and just kind of sometimes be more mindful about okay and maybe not go as hard or maybe not do the extra little bit of running it's it's annoying because i want to be out there and i want to set a good example for for the rest of my teammates but um, yeah, I've learned over this time that sometimes you just got to be s smart about you know, resting your knee and doing what's right so I'm ready for game day. So um, it's, been, it's been a tough process, but um, trying to be the best me every single day. Bob's been one of the best rebounders in the Big Ten. What, I mean, how have you prepared for that matchup um, inside and, and and with Penn State hasn't been a great rebounding team. What is it, how does it what does it mean for you guys to establish that size early? Um, it's something we've been talking about all season. Uh, I think especially on the road, we've really struggled with rebounding. We've been better at home, um, and the big fella from Penn State will definitely be a challenge. Um, I always tell my team, I say, hey, if I if I got a really big dude that I need to battle with, then I'm just gonna try and keep him off the glass, and you guys come. I'll like try and try and just help me just get the rebound. I'll box out this guy. You just you guys just get the rebounds. It'll be a good challenge for sure. Their guards are pretty good. Uh, when <laughs> defensively, I mean, you have to go in the game plan obviously, but defensively it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for you, know, you in particular getting ball screens and stuff. Yeah, uh, they they run a lot of different actions with ball screens. Very heavy ball screen offense. So like one of our keys will be. Uh, communication and making sure that we um, yeah, treat the ball screens the right way and everybody's on the same page with how we cover them. Um, yeah, those guards are, are very crafty. Um, so it's, it's a job for the whole team to try and stop them, not just our guards. I can help them a lot with that by just calling out ball, ball screens early, making sure that they don't get hit, um, seeing if we can kind of clog up the paint a little bit. So I think we got a good plan, game plan for him, but uh, yeah, just realizing that it's not just on our guards to guard their guards; it's a whole team effort. What, what do you think of the 11 a.m. tip? Do you have any? Um, yeah. I'm personally not the biggest fan, but we've uh, been practicing the whole week. We've been practicing early, so I think everybody's bodies are well adjusted to having to go early. But um, I would prefer to play a little later. But it is what it is, and we got to be ready for it. And Come out swinging, like I said. What's your favorite time to start a game? Um, I like it somewhere between like three and six p.m. I'd say. Coach talked about how impressed he was with Josiah's performance last week. Mm -hmm. Going back and looking at the tape, what does it mean to have like a guy like Josiah next to you? you know, when you talked about boxing up the yeah. guy and having him get in there and get the boards. Nah, he's he's very important. He's been very playing very physical, and in the last game, he really went after some of the offensive rebounds. Just being able to kind of establish some some physicality in the game, he's been he's been big time. I always try and do that, uh, but having somebody next to you that does the same thing it really um, sets a good example for the rest of the team. Um, we big guys, we gotta set the standard, and then everybody will follow. Coach brought up not looking ahead, taking one game at a time. Mm -hmm. How how hard is that for you guys to <laughs> not you know look? And obviously, you see their bracketologies and you know what's going on but um, at 
the end of the day, all we can really do is just win the next game. Um, so I definitely agree with the coach that we got to just focus on one game at a time. Obviously, you look at the schedule remaining, and I think we got a very favorable schedule for ourselves. But if we start looking at three games down the road and we take the next one for granted, like that's it's going to set you up for problems. So, um, yeah, one, one game at a time. We're only focused on Penn State. Uh, and that's our, our main goal right now, to just get a win on, on Saturday. Having almost a full season under your belt, I'm just wondering, has Big Ten basketball been about what you expected it to be when you came in here? You know, what, I guess what the uh, been like? What's it been like for you? Yeah, it's, it's been fun. I've, I've, I've been loving it. Um, every single game is just a challenge. You're playing on, the hot, on one of the biggest stages in, in the America, and every single game is, is really a war every single time. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. I really, really like the decision that I made for, for coming over here. Yes, Rick. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Back to taking that. <laughs> how, how, how was yoga?